to my channel it's your girl Elda and I trust and pray that you have had a blessed and prosperous day in the name of Jesus whatever time it is that you are tuned in listen to me and hear me good if this is your first time I welcome you with love hugs and kisses please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell because we drop a hot one every Wednesday and Friday and for my subby babies Listen, you already know how we get down and we be like, welcome back, back, a back, back, a back, back, a. I still ain't got it, but don't judge me, judge your big toe. <laughs> you already know, baby, how we get down. Listen, you guys, I love you. I do. I do. And um, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about what's on my heart okay um i'm not perfect and disclaimer i am not a relationship coach okay i just like to think as myself as somebody that speaks facts okay so as y'all can see by the chat the, the channel <laughs> as you can see by the um title sis what's the rush what's the rush sis like what's the rush like i had to ask i i even had to ask myself that like i'm gonna be real with you like i'm gonna be real with you i have to i had to ask myself that um and the reason i say that is because do our demeanor how can I put this? I believe that some of us, not all, some of us ladies, our demeanor puts so much pressure on a man. And I get it. When a man knows, he knows. When he ready, he ready. And whoop, whoop, and wop, wop. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. But why is it when we start talking to an individual of interest um and we we get to a point where we really feel in them and it's like why are we so in a rush to put a title on it and then when we put a title on it then we're so in a rush to get the ring and then we're so in a rush to get married okay now y'all know me um my opinion is my opinion and i'm not gonna force my opinion on you um but i just pray that you will learn um from my mistakes you know because yes we can learn from other people's mistakes but i have i have come to a point where i had to really ask myself what is the rush because yes once upon a time i was dating an individual and i was in a rush for the title like okay i'm not gonna be wasting my time woo, 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 and you know whatever whatever all right fine we put a title on it okay you know woo, woo, you ain't gonna be wasting my time to see that you gonna put a ring on it or not you know all right boom i got married but then later on down the line i got to a point it's like i don't know you there's a lot of things that i miss because i was so busy rushing because for me i was in a place where i was um scared of being alone so of course when he was like let's just go to the courthouse and get married i was like all for it i, I ain't even get proposed to honey but um but i say all of that to say this like i got married but i didn't know him so that 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 part of building the friendship and letting things develop organically um i robbed myself of that because all because i wanted to appease my flesh and um silence my fear of not being by myself and only to learn that we were not compatible so i ask you sis like <laughs> like come on when do we get to it's like 
it's like yes go with the flow but of course i know it's to a certain it, it gets to a point where it's like you know you can't just go with the flow if there's no vision up ahead or if there's not a destination up ahead like i get it but at the same time we need to learn how to enjoy the moment and allow things to develop organically because one thing i've come to learn is that us women sometimes sometimes and not all women okay but sometimes we neglect the expectation we neglect the the thoughts or the needs or the want of the men that we're engaging with because we're so stuck on well you know i want to be in a relationship and you know i want to get married i wanted this i wanted that that we just automatically think that he needs to be okay with it um or you know we feel like oh you know i've wasted my time in the past and he better not waste my time but did it ever occur to us and trust me trust me i'm talking about the, the the good men okay i'm talking about the good men that are out in hiding all right but did it ever cross your mind that maybe he himself is scared to get into it did it ever cross your mind that you know that he too have some concerns or you know he want to do things different because of what he's gone through in the past like do we really sit down and take that into consideration like when we talk about these things it's one thing i'm i'm a i hold you to your word any like I, I tell you straight up when i'm talking to a dude i tell you straight up i hold you according to your word and your action so if you're not gonna keep the same energy that you're giving me in the beginning if it's not gonna remain consistent don't give it to me at all and let me make my decision from there but at the same but i say this is you know i say that to say this we need to incorporate how they feel we need to come to a place where we allow things to happen organically all right and if you're an individual that falls quickly then you have to you're gonna have to learn how to slow it down slow it down and i guarantee you i feel like we would have way 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 much more successful relationships when we take the time to build that friendship because listen if you can't if i cannot be myself with somebody i don't want to be with you at all and this is not only in my my high moments this is not even dealing with my deficiencies um or whatever you know my flaws but you know my high moments but can you handle my attitude when i'm hungry or you know understand me that will take the time to understand me um in my low moments when when my moments go high and low like are you able to handle that like this is what we gotta look at like okay do you support me do you pour into me like i know what i bring to the table okay i know what i bring to the table but it gets to a point where it's more than just calling me bae it's more than just you know i miss you and this and that like can i build with you like can i build with you but in order for you to know that you need to have a clear communication you have to have solid communication be able to talk transparency vulnerability um so all of that and it's just like we be so quick to just like and this time that's like stop stop pressuring your mind stop pressuring your soul stop pressuring your spirit stop pressuring your body stop looking at the time listen at the end of the day god make everything beautiful in its time in its time so stop worrying about oh well i'm in my 30s and this that no 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 stop it you you putting pressure on yourself for no reason sis for no reason and then when you get with homeboy poor who poor homeboy <laughs> poor man like like i ain't even gonna say poor man let me let me be wise with my words <laughs> rich man because y'all know me i love speaking life in period but this rich man gonna be looking at you like what did I get myself into? This is how this is why we come off cuckoo because we've been so we've been single for so long that you know as soon as we start talking, they show an interest or something, we just expand on it and it's like, all right, let's seal the deal within a month. No, no, baby. I know some things happen quickly and you know, and some that but listen, 
that's not everybody's story. You have to be able to create that fairy tale love with one another. And that's being transparent, that's being honest, and that's being integral. And when I say this, um, I don't only say this to my sisters, but you know, it's just a, a, a language where we say sis. But you do got some men out there that be rushing too, because they be so ready. They be so ready, and then I'm not even going to get into that, but bro or sis, like stop rushing yourself and take your time let things um develop organically communicate be transparent like can you like look at this person characteristic look at their traits look at how they carry themselves do they have vision do they have goals do they what are they into you have to pay attention to all of that don't get with somebody two weeks and then try to be married by week four and then by week 36 you looking like what did i get myself into don't make that mistake do not make that mistake please don't take your time and let things develop organically there is no need to rush no need to rush no need to rush and i just pray that this will speak to somebody especially somebody that may be dealing with loneliness or they feel like you know they don't know what's going on listen date yourself get to know you deal with some things deal with those toxic traits deal deal with some things before you get into a relationship and the very things that you're looking for your significant other to have make sure you yourself possess them all right listen y'all i've been single going on uh, three years this year um is going to make me three years and let me tell you i'm taking my time to heal honey like i am not in no rush i'm not because i took i i used that time to build I use that time to get out of out of debt with some things. I'm using this time to establish and I am still building, okay? I'm making sure that I provide stability for my daughter and for myself. List and I'm okay. And I'm okay. <laughs> well, don't get it twisted though. <laughs> Your girl is fine. But um, I'm cautious this time around because with everything that I have been through, I learned my worth on, a, on another plateau, all right? And, and it's a beautiful feeling to deal with those mountains and not expecting a superhero to come in. I had to, you know, after God, of course, of course, after God, I had to be my own superhero and deal with some things so that I wouldn't bring it into my next future relationship so that he would be able to have um, received the best of me and vice versa. Because at the end of the day, you are what's in you, you attract when you look at what type of man you attracting baby you better you better go to god you better go to god and ask what it is that is in you that is attracting these type of men or women and you need to pray fast and deal with it period period but anyways i just came on here to just you know let y'all know stop the rushing all right society have their own agenda and god has his all right, and I'm I'm pretty sure you're gonna be more successful by going with the agenda of God. So remove that time, remove that limit that we place on ourselves, remove that pressure, and let things develop organically. Okay, but I love you. Comment below if um. How are you encouraging yourself in your singleness? Or what is something that you need to work on? And if you have been encouraged in any shape, way, or form, please make sure you hit that thumbs up, honey. You already know. But I love you. Be blessed. Be encouraged. And remember that you have victory on every side.